Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into switch case statement in Thumblip templates. Well, probably in Java you have used switch case statements, isn't it? Similar to that, Thumblip provides th colon switch and th colon case attributes to perform switch case condition in Thumblip templates. In this lecture, I'm going to demonstrate the usage of th colon switch and th colon case Thumblip attributes to perform switch case condition in Thumblip templates. Well, if there are more than two possible results of an expression, we can use switch and case attributes for a conditional rendering of the HTML elements. For example, consider this code snippet over here. Here we are using th colon switch timelip attribute to evaluate this condition that is user.role. If the user role is admin, then this case will execute and this will print user is administrator. And if none of the case is matched, then this default case will execute. And in timelip, we can use star to denote this case as a default case. So this is pretty simple. If you have already used switch case in Java, then you will easily understand this switch case in timelip as well. Here we have your th colon switch, you know, condition to evaluate this expression. If this expression will match any of the cases, then that, uh, you know, respective cases will execute. Okay. Now let me demonstrate the usage of switch and case timelip attributes in an action. So let's go to integer idea and let's go to user controller over here and here let me write the handler method first so let's type public and let's give return type of the method as a string and here let me give method name as switch case and let's annotate this method with add get mapping annotation to handle http get request with the url switch hyphen case and let's pass a model as a parameter to this method all right so here let me create a user object user user equal to new user and let's pass you know parameter to this constructor so name let's you ramesh and then email let's you ramesh at the rate gmail.com and let's you role as admin and then let's you gender as a male now we have created a user next let's add this user to the model for that model dot add attribute and then attribute name as a user and attribute value as a actual user object perfect next let's return the view so let me give view name as switch hyphen case perfect now we have created handler method it will handle http get request with the url switch hyphen case and within this handler method we have created user object and we have added it to the model and this handler method returns switch hyphen case timelip template view name next let's go and let's create this switch case timelip template and let's display the model data so let's go to templates folder within that let's create html file and let's give name as switch hyphen case and hit enter and let's give title as switch case condition something like that and let's define the xml namespace for timelip so go to html element and here at the beginning just type xml namespace colon th equal to http and then www.timelip.org perfect next go to body within a body let's have you know h1 uh, header element and let's provide the page heading something like switch case time lip attributes demo something like that perfect next let's use s3 heading element over here and within that let's use th current text time lip attribute and let's print the username for that let's use a variable expression dollar within a curly versus user dot name well this user we are you know getting from the spring mc controller for example if you go to user controller and go to switch case you know handler method within that we have model dot add attribute and we have used attribute name as a user attribute value as actual user object in order to get this actual user object we are using attribute name called user so this user we are using over here okay user dot name so name is basically attribute of this user model class for example 
if you go to user model class it has name email role gender right so this name we are calling over here user dot name next let's go and let's use thumblip switch and case attributes so here just have a div and within a div let's use th cousin switch thumblip attribute and let's add a condition within a double quote let's have a variable expression dollar and then user dot rule now we have used th colon switch thumblip attribute to get the user rule next we need to use switch case so here within this div let's have a paragraph element and then let's use th colon case thumblip attribute and then within a double quote within a single quote let's pass admin let's say if this you know user role match to this admin case then we'll print user is user is a admin user something like that and then let's have one more paragraph element over here and then th colon case and then if the user role is a user then what will print will print user is a normal user next let's have a default case for that let's have a paragraph element and then th colon case family attribute and then in order to represent a default case we have to use star over here and then let's print user is something else something like that perfect now we have used switch and case thumblip attributes next let's go and let's run the spring boot application and let's see how this switch and case thumblip attribute works so let me start the spring boot application again all right and if you can go to user controller we have used switch hyphen case a url to call this handler method right so let me copy this switch hyphen case url and let's go to browser and here just type localhost colon 8080 slash switch hyphen case and hit enter and there we go you can able to see Ramesh user is a admin user that's why user is a admin user text is printed over here well if you can see the code over here if the user role is admin then this text will be printed that is user is a admin user and you can see user is a admin user now let me change the role so go to user controller and here let me change the role from admin to user and let me restart the Spring Boot application. Alright, and let's go to browser and let me refresh. And now we can able to see user is a normal user. Next, let's print the default case. So here let me change the role from user to guest. So this guest user is not exist in our application. So it will print the default case, right? So let me start the Spring Boot application. Alright, let's go to browser and refresh and you can able to see user is something else so this is a basically text which we have added in a default case okay if you see the code over here we have added user is something else in a default case okay this is how we use switch and case timely attributes to perform switch case condition in a timely templates all right great i will see you in the next lecture